did we select these 77 papers to appear in Popple this week? And um, there's not a lot of news here. So we did have one new thing for this year's Popple. We have our new Distinguished Paper Award. And you saw in marked in the program the six papers that received that Distinguished Paper Award. But otherwise, all of the main features that were present in last year's Popple, we followed and continued to refine in this year in the selection process. So that includes the double blind solution, the lightweight trying to reduce initial impressions based on author and institution. It included using a tool to help automate the paper assignment process. It included dividing up reviewing into multiple rounds so that we could allocate reviewer effort to where it's most important. It included the author response, giving authors a chance to respond to the reviews before any decisions have been made. It included, for the second time only, an online PC meeting. So we did not have a physical PC meeting. We uh, met for four days online to discuss the papers. And it also included the fact that we are now publishing in the Packham PL Journal. So as part of that, all papers have to be continuously accepted and have to be shepherded and eventually approved after they are accepted. And then finally, we also have artifact evaluation. So every paper that is accepted has the chance to submit an artifact for evaluation through a separate evaluation process. Right, and so that shows up on the timeline. So this is what the Popple timeline. So we started with 267 submissions on the submission date in July. Um, the, the end of the first round, so the, all papers that were submitted got two initial reviews. If those reviews were not terrible, they continued on to the second round. So uh, 230 papers moved on to the second round. Now, whether a paper was in the first round or the second round didn't matter. All papers could submit an author response. So the number of author responses, we got even people in the first round also had a chance to comment on their reviews. And again, note, just because a paper only received two reviews, its decision had not been made yet. All the decisions were made during this four-day online PC meeting at the very beginning of October. After that, we conditionally accepted 77 papers. Out of those 77 papers, 34 of them had some request from the program committee. They are minor requests, the timeline is not very long, but 34 of them had some change that had to be made. But all of those papers were able to satisfy their shepherds and satisfy the requirements made by the program committee. So in the end, we accepted all 77 of those papers. right? And we have a huge number of papers that had artifacts along with them. So we had 43 artifacts submitted and 42 accepted, which is awesome. And then out of those 77 papers, the distinguished paper committee met, ran a separate review process in December, looking at the final versions, after all modifications have been made, looking at the final versions of the papers to select the distinguished papers. Now, one thing, now I did, after this was all over, I polled the program committee and I got them to all respond to my poll. And so I asked them questions about the reviewing process. And one of the questions, this is confirming what we know, but I was still kind of surprised by the intensity of it. Um, We've been doing author response for a while, and you can see that almost every single submitted paper had an author response. It really makes a big difference to the reviewers, right? Um, 37, 40 out of 51 reviewers thought that the author response made, uh, improved their decision-making process. So it very much strengthened, made them feel like they were making better decisions because we had an author response. Okay, now the other thing, that, like the online PC, this is perhaps the more controversial change that we, this is only the second time we've had it. So I wanted to show you a couple of statistics from the PC review and from other sources to help you get a sense of what it's like to do an online PC meeting for Popple after having done physical PC meetings for so many years. So the first thing I want to point out 
is that one benefit of an online pc is that we can grow the pc. there's only a certain number of people you can fit in one room and have a meeting with when they are all together in person. so if you compare, for example, two thousand and seventeen, right, we can have we couldn't we had just under thirty pc members and those pc oh, those poor pc members, they were reviewing thirty papers each. Right? And by, grow, by switching to an online PC meeting, we could significantly grow the size of the PC and, more importantly, make that reviewing workload manageable. I've been on the Popple PC before, the, before it was online. I know it's really hard to review 25, 30 papers. That's, that's a lot to ask of somebody. And it's a lot to do well. So I think it's a, it's a significant benefit that we have been able to cut this down. Um, we asked the PC whether, because we were doing it online, some people worry that when you have an online meeting, PC members aren't going to be less engaged, right? But there's virtually no effect, right? You know, some feel more engaged, some feel less engaged because it's online. These numbers duplicate what Andrew found in his PC survey last year. Um, slightly positive effect on review quality. It's mostly symmetrical, but you see there's six reviewers who thought that having an online meeting significantly improved their reviews. And because the discussion is online, it get, does give PC members a chance to incorporate parts of that discussion back into their re reviews so that authors can have more feedback from what's going on in the decision process. And the last thing I want to show you is sort of the, the kind of, should we keep doing this question? So we asked, you know, what about next year? Should we still have it? And you see, overwhelmingly, we have 63% of the PCs saying, yes, let's keep doing online PC meetings, 14% saying no, and the rest is some variant of maybe, I'm not sure. Right? So this seems like a pretty strong mandate to continue to me, from my point of view. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to conclude with is just some thank yous, because um, this is a big popple, and I did not do it all by myself, right? So the first thing I want to thank is um, ah, the program committee. So these folks, if you're here on the program committee, can you please stand up, and I would like to applaud you. These are the people who have worked so hard to make sure that we have this such a great popple. And then the next group are the people, a subset of the program committee that went above and beyond, that after everything has been done in December, still had, was able to do it all again and select the distinguished paper. So if you're here on the distinguished paper committee, please stand up. I think at least three are here. <laughs> And then finally, I also have a, a number of additional things. So the program committee works in conjunction with external reviewers. I couldn't fit them all on the slide. Please look at the booklet. It has all the names of people who wrote reviews for Popple. Um, I also want to thank Lars Berkadal. He's not here, but he handled as program chair, he pretended to be program chair for all of the papers that I was conflicted with. So I did not have to look at any of them. Um, so that was a big help. The, Previous Popple chairs were super supportive and with much advice throughout the entire process. Whenever I had anything come up, they were there for me. Um, the two tools, Hotcrap and TPMS, definitely automated many parts of the whole process. Um, there were 890 accounts on Hotcrap, our online tool. So this includes all the program committee, all the authors of submitted papers, and all the external reviewers. So you can see Popple is a very large joint uh, project. And then 
Finally, I want to give a thanks to all the organizers here, so especially to Fritz, our general chair, Vasco, our local chair. This place is beautiful. It's wonderful. I'm so happy to be here this week. Definitely to Annabelle, who, who, who is our lifeblood and keeps it all together, and the rest of the organizing committee. So please, let's join them all and give them thanks. I don't have that. Uh, I, sorry. <laughs> there were PC papers submitted and there were PC papers accepted. <laughs> when you have a large PC, it does not make a sense to restrict PC papers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to our next pair of speakers.